than during it. But you're right, Clive, he's played so well. It's been a terrific match. High quality snooker throughout. It looked what? as if Maguire had a, a straightforward containing escape, but here's Davis. First in. I think the problem with the commentary is those earpieces, which uh, people can buy to five or a time, are leaking in terms of sound. And if there are several of them switched on, then the players can hear what we're saying. And maybe also someone's left one on a seat or something like that. Eight. Nine. Sixty. Nice angle on this, Fred. Just to run through onto the black. Seventy. Now, what will he do? Could play into the pack of reds here. Could play into there. There's two reds at the bottom. As a reserve, well, even more positively played than that. Certainly Plenty been a feature of his snooker today. Now he's really relaxed and he's relishing this battle. Well, Davis's sh shot choices have been very positive throughout. I think he's realised that uh, he's got to do that to beat a player of Maguire's quality. Twenty-five. That was a great shot, also, to avoid any reds. Landing on the blue, there's another red there as well. Stephen Maguire has played <coughs> tremendous snooker in this match, three centuries himself. And two other centuries from Steve Davis. And a blinder. In every respect, break making, tactical play, tight finishes, twists and turns of fortune. Thirty-eight. Bad contact. 39. Just stop the cue ball about an inch on the way through to the black. Don't think it's any problem though. Probably played the other side of the black at an angle, but as it happens, he still has a nice little angle through to the next red. Once again, cue ball completely under control. 46 47 Anyone who's relatively new to snooker This is how he used to play, isn't it Clive? 54 All the time
55. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. Davis took the last frame with breaks of 31 and 42. Maguire potting only one ball in reply. Seventy. Almost over the line. Hasn't had to play a difficult shot in this break yet. That tells you how well he's playing. Seventy-eight. It's a big test for Maguire to retain his self-belief in the face of this sort of comeback. Seventy-nine. Maguire defending this title. Eighty-six. Eighty-seven. Maguire has made three centuries in this match. It looks as if Davis is going to follow suit. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Not sure whether the bottom red will pot. Don't think it will to the left corner. Perhaps a cannon. <laughs> to push one of them into play. Delightful shot. Absolutely. Magnificent. What a century break. One on the run two. His third of the match. Again. One on the run three. He's had about three kicks during the course of this break. This was well worth another look. Beautiful cannon. And it's not one hundred and eleven escape Davis's attention that he can tie the highest break if he clears the table. The highest break prize is six thousand pounds. John Higgins made a one four five before the cameras came into the Barbican here at York. 120. I didn't see that break, but it wouldn't have been better than this one. 123. Might have been as good, but not better, because this position has been just something else. 127. One hundred and thirty-two. One hundred and thirty-eight. <coughs> One hundred and thirty. That was precision. That was class. A total clearance.